Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So, let me start out with a joke. <laughs> um, so, I was reading on Facebook, and a friend had posted that they were um, watching a movie. And then somebody commented, you should you should read the book. Go, go read the book. And I'm thinking to myself, that would be equivalent to me saying, damn, I want to good Reuben sandwich and then somebody say to me you know what's better than eating the sandwich reading the recipe <laughs> no I want the damn sandwich some people are just visually entertained you know they visually enjoy things I ain't, I'm not about to compare the Harry Potter book to the Harry Potter movie now some people read the book and they dive into that world and they're using their imagination and they're getting all that they can out of it. But me, on the other hand, I could read the book four, five times, and my imagination juices is is, is jumping and I'm filling in the blanks and it's an amazing experience. But there's nothing better to me than visually watching somebody's creation and masterpiece. A movie. God damn it. Man, I, I just, I, I just feel like we need to um, st st stop. Uh, I guess giving unsolicited advice or unsolicited options. You know, <laughs> um, another one. Like, we gotta stop expecting non. We got to stop expecting clinical level uh, advice from regular folk. Like, we go through our issues and stuff like that and our, you know, and our problems and we have our, our trials and tribulations and we, we expect clinical level therapy or recommendations from just regular folk with their own set of issues. We can't do that. We can do that. But that, that we ain't going to get what we looking for, you know? We gotta expect regular kind of advice from regular folk. You know, we expect this this superior level of support or or understanding from just regular folk with regular issues. And I'm I'm guilty of that. You know, I put a lot of pressure on the people around me. You know, and I guess that's just human in us. We want to be nurtured or cared for in our time of need. But sometimes, or most of the time, once we get older, our 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 um our our, our levels of need and our our are are bigger than just a regular kind of like relationship between you and your um, sibling, or you and your spouse, or you and your parents. You know, sometimes you need additional help. You know, and I joke, but I mean, you know go get that help don't be in an environment where you you're not getting what you need because it's just it's just designed that way and then just keep being in a deficit because it doesn't make the situation better it just gets you more frustrated so just have a little bit of understanding and understanding that we just all regular folk with regular problems and regular issues and we try to be supportive of one another and i guess the most support we could do is to tell your ass to go get some help some real help you know, and because I've fallen into that trap where, like I said, you, you want the people around you to meet you at your near knee. And sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes people are, can only give you what they got and what they got is what you got and what you got is a problem. So now you got two problems. So, um, yeah, go get some real help. Go get some professional help. And that doesn't take away from you. That adds to you as a person. We all got problems, and now you got problems and some help. You ahead of the game. So, you know, that's that. Um, it's a great day today. It's a crisp morning. It's a crisp 42 degrees. Started out about 70, 37 in this car, but it's warmed up nicely. Um, it's a couple of days out from um, Thanksgiving, you know, and I'm over the... the, the the realization that most people just don't even understand that holiday. 
and are content with just being caught up in the tradition of eating turkey, you know, and that's okay. Um, that's, that's, that's okay. Um, but I, I'm not going to partake this year. This year, I'm going to do my best to just, you know, be thankful, but not be caught up in the tradition, because the tradition for me means eat a meal that I do not need for about three, four days, and then spend the beginning parts of December, um, you know, in a little bit of misery and agony because I'm eating things that I shouldn't eat, and then preparing to do it all again on Christmas, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm just personally speaking, saying that um, I'm going to skip that, that part of the process this year. And I'm going to be thankful and I'm going to sit with people that I love and I'm going to be judgmental and I'm going to, you know, I'm a pass the pie and I'm, 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 I'm just going, I'm going to be present, but I'm not going to participate, you know, and, and it is a, a day of mourning for our, our Native Americans. So maybe I'll, I'll use it as a, as a day of mem, um, more for my smidget percent of, of Native American in my blood and just be thankful for those individuals who sacrificed themselves so that I may be here. Amen. And, oh, I wanted to also talk about um, mo problems. <laughs> um, like, I wanted to talk about uh, a seasonal affective disorder. Look it up, Google it. It's a it's a real thing. If you don't have it, be oh so grateful because it's like being, you know, the frog in the boiling pot of water. He was in a cool pot of water, but then all of a sudden, the water got hot and he didn't know. And the next thing he knew, he was a soup. You know, that's what it feels like. You go from summertime, that's the reverse actually. You go from summertime, feeling great about yourself and the sun is shining and it's warm and you're getting enough vitamin D and things are great. And you got barbecue sauce on your lip and your sun's tanned and you're just feeling good and it's not superficial it's really in your soul when you're deep down everything feels wonderful and all of a sudden the days are shorter it's colder people are sick you know flimmy you know flimmy in your throat and then on top of all of that just feel down like you wake up and you just like I don't even want to get out this bed and you just can't really quite um make sense of it because it's just like I know I gotta get up and I gotta go to work or I gotta take the kids to school or I gotta be responsible or I gotta you know whatever the whatever the thing is I know I gotta do it but I don't really want to do it you know the motivation is not there. The the desire isn't there. You just feel overall just like I can't, I cannot get out this bed. I cannot move. I do not want to move. You know. But for the, the responsible part of you, kind of like outweighs that foolishness. So you kind of like you know force yourself to get up. And then the whole time you're doing what you're doing, you're just like like not present. You're not you're not there. You know. So it just. It just makes the, the day, which is very short, long. Um, and you got to go through that for a couple of months, you know. And it's just a lot. You wake up in the morning and you're just like, I, I cannot get out of this bed, you know. And I guess I've discovered this a long time ago that I'm more affected than other people, you know. Other people most people feel that which doesn't allow them to be more sympathetic to people who really feel it because they're like well I feel that too but you may feel it in a way like oh I just don't want to get out of bed but there are some people who it's crippling you know where they're just now they're 
something else where they don't leave the house, but I'm able to leave the house, but it's, I promise you, if I've shown up to the job or to your house, um, it was a tremendous effort to get me there, you know? Um, and things that I've done throughout the years, which might be helpful to other people, as I realized that daylight, light, just that bright, like, ah, sun, which we don't like, which right now I'm getting, and I enjoy, I wish I could stay here, you know, but of course I'm going to go and go to work in, in the building, you know, really does, as, as a creature that we are, wakes us up, it just, you want to crack in it and, and, and just, you know, really suck it all in, so I've got these lights in my in my house on a timer in my right next to my bed like right where my window would be whereas now I'm leaving before this happens so I don't get any of that I artificially get it because it comes on I set it where it comes on around 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning um these lights and it tricks my body into thinking oh there's sun in my window <laughs> um I have plants which help purify the air and just provide that that extra greenery which excuse me which does affects the mood ah the sun i love i love making this right hand turn here because every morning it never fills if it's not a cloudy day you're going to get this little treat of um of sun here but it doesn't last very long um but yeah, so I have these artificial lights on a timer. You can get the timer from any hardware store. It goes into the outlet, and you can set it to when you want it to come on and when you want it to go off. And you just get a really ridiculously, any of your efficient light bulb, but the brightest um, lumens and, and, and um, lights you can get. And get one that's a warm color. With They have blue and they have warm. Get the one that leans towards the warmer side. And, um, and just have that light blare in your face first thing in the morning it seems ridiculous but it really does help like it really does instead of waking up and it's gray and gloomy just having that little bit of light like in my room gets me a little bit more motivated maybe for you it might be a scent maybe so maybe you might need to get one of those aroma mister things which has like um, a pleasant smell in it or something um, do some re research and find a fragrance or a smell that affects the mood. So maybe you might put a little, put a um, little one drop of sandalwood and some um, little citrus, like a like a little citrus in there, and have that just like fill your room up with a pleasant smell. Um, maybe that might boost your mood. Maybe it might be eating, changing your um, your diet up in the winter time instead of eating carby heavy breakfast, which I don't really eat breakfast. I eat a little later on in the morning. Um, instead of eating pancakes and syrup and butter and then getting coffee which gives you false energy um, won't you eat something that you know just brightens you up a little bit um, for me when I jump in the car I have something to drink um, today I'm drinking um, this body armor might not be the best thing to drink but I'm drinking it and I did two of these as a turmeric um, supplement. It's 538 milligrams, so it's like a smaller dose. So I do about two of these um, at least twice a day. Um, and then I also do the um, apple cider vinegar tablet. You didn't see that here. Apple cider vinegar. And I do about three of those twice a day. Each time that I'm in the car, I kind of like pop a couple in my mouth. In the morning, it really is more beneficial because it's on an empty stomach. Um, and what they all do is the turmeric helps with circulation. More circulation, I believe, for me, it provides warmth and just a better mood. Um, and then the apple cider vinegar kind of like gets my stomach going. So it actually prepares me for a meal. It gets, it gets things going in my system, you know, um, not like going to the bathroom, but just going in general. It's just overall a holistic thing to do, and if you read the benefits of it, then it will make sense. It's kind of hard to explain. You just have to, have to understand that it's not like an aspirin where it's like trying to alleviate a symptom. 
it it's just overall a promote a promotes healthy. It, like you kind of can't do anything wrong unless I dump that whole bottle in my mouth, like throw my system out of whack. It kind of like just keeps things right. I've noticed that with the apple cider vinegar doing that, um, going to the bathroom number two wise have been a much more pleasant experience. Like um, my body seems to lean towards like failing or quitting on me with like the the balance of like sometimes being blocked up or sometimes being overly, you know, one way or another kind of like keeps me regular. So that's probably TMI, but that's just my little tip of the day. So I do, I do that as a look, a little routine on my drive. I also listen to really good music in the morning. In my opinion is really good music. Like for instance, this morning I said, Alexa, play Tasha Page Lockhart. I'm familiar with her she's a gospel artist but I you know wanted to hear more of her music so I just like put on a nice little playlist yesterday it was Tekka Taka something it was a, a reggae artist and I'm just that like that's a, just another mood so I experiment and 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 with my music choice in the morning and I just let it go and play you know um all the way up to the point where I'm at work you know, um, I don't stop anywhere. If if I try, I could get gas the night before. If I need gas, I'm going after work. But in the morning, I don't try to stop nowhere. Like most people, I'll stop and do hair and <coughs> go get coffee. And you're taking in all those other people's spirits and energies, and you might run into a bad. And it's just really just giving you more of a deficit in your in your mood. Let your car be your sanctuary. I'm driving, but it's a it's a it's a bit of meditation for me because the the drive itself, uh, unless somebody like literally cuts me off, it's done in autopilot. I'm present, but I I could I, I've I, I know every pothole, I know where to go, I know where to turn, all that stuff. The same people, even in the congestion, it, it kind of like I I found this level of like. Zen, you know, and um, I'm able to just cut the music on. Like I said, I have myself something to drink. I take my a little bit of holistic supplements, if you want to call them that. I think I'm thinking about the day, maybe a task that I might have to do. Sometimes I'm not thinking about anything. I want to use that moment as a way to clear my mind. I'm letting the sun come in. Um, I might put on a squirt of fragrance, you know, like... I, like just to, just like you know, not for nobody else. It's all, all for me. I have um, face wipes in here. I'll, I'll take them, and I'll just wipe my face. My face is clean, but I'll just re-wipe my face and let it dry in the warm air coming out the vent. And take that moment, cause in my house I'm rushing, but in this car I'm not gonna waste that almost 40 minutes. Um, 